Okay, we have here an interesting integral. This one's from Columbia Integration B, 2025, number 17. We have the integral from zero to infinity, one over x squared plus one times x to the fourth plus one dx. Okay, so I've done problems like this quite a few times in the past. It's been a while, so I was kind of forgetting how it works. I think I did one. I want to say I did the exact same problem, but the exponent here was 2024, which is making me think, I'm not sure on this, we're gonna see how it goes, but I think this exponent doesn't matter. So let's just try to generalize this a little bit more and instead of, let's just call it something, let's call this A. We'll come back and fix it later. We'll just remember A is four. There may be some restrictions, but I think for some values of A, it just doesn't matter. So we'll just label it like that. And then for starters, let's do a U substitution on it. I just wanna flip, just take a reciprocal. So then from this, we also have x equals one over u and taking a derivative, we have dx is gonna be minus one over u squared du. So when we substitute, it's gonna flip the bounds because you plug infinity in here. Now this is going to zero on the positive side, but we don't really care about that. And then you plug zero in here, it's gonna be going to positive infinity. Keep going for our dx. Let's take the minus sign up front for the moment, and then um, let's kind of, eh, let's do it like this. Okay, so that's a one. This is gonna be one over u squared du. Then we just need to flip all these. So like for x squared, it's gonna become one over u squared plus one. And then this one's gonna be one over u to the a plus one. But then we can do some cleanup. The minus sign, we'll use that to flip the bounds which is nice because it means the bounce didn't change. We're just back to where we were here, going from zero to infinity. Then next, I can multiply this u squared into this one. Because notice that's gonna flip everything around and get it the way it was basically. But I don't wanna just do that. I wanna fix this one as well. The way we can do it is, let's do this. The same thing that happened here, we want to happen here. So let's go. So what I wanna do is multiply in u to the a to cancel that, but I don't want to change it. So if we do it like this, we're just multiplying by one. So then when we distribute everything in, what's going to happen now, we just have this u to the a over here. This is going to cancel and become one plus u squared. I'll just reorder it like this. And then same kind of thing here. It's just going to be u to the a plus one. And then here, let's just change the variable back. We're in a definite integral, so we're fine to do whatever we want with that. Just gonna change it all back to x to get it to match up with our original integral. The reason for doing it is so we can add these two integrals together, the starting point and this one, because we have the same bounds and the same denominator now. Think about it like a one in the numerator here. Just kind of put a label on it. We'll call that one i and we'll call this one i. So adding these two together, we'll have two i. We'll write it over in this area. Again, from zero to infinity, same denominator. But when we add numerators, we get x to the a plus one. So we just have x to the a plus one here, dx. And I think you can see the payoff is now this just cancels with this. And so that's why I said this a isn't gonna really matter. And now that I look at it, I guess it could be anything, right? I think zero works, negative numbers. I can't, there's nothing that's gonna cause a convergence problem that I can see. So I think any a works. I don't know, I didn't think about it, but yeah, it looks like any A is gonna work on this. So then with the cancellation here, we just have one over X squared plus one. That's just the arctan integral. To finish this, I do wanna divide off two on both sides, right? To get rid of that, to isolate our answer. So we're gonna have one half times the integral from zero to infinity, one over X squared plus one DX. Integrate that, we're just gonna have one half arctan of X evaluated from zero to infinity. Arctan at zero is just zero. Arctan at infinity is gonna be pi over two. So we're gonna end up with one half times pi over two. And for my final solution on it, we just get pi over four and that's it. So I guess we should have known one of the most common answers on integration B is pi over four. It's like the third most common after zero, one. No, it's the fourth most. No, I think it's actually the third most common. It's zero comes first, then 2025 is the second most common, and then pi over four is the third most common answer on an integration B in the year 2025.
Okay, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.